Hello YouTubers. Uh, this is a quick video that uh, I wanted to uh, put together for uh, something I observed the other day uh, about animals and, and architectural patterns in nature. And uh, you know, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you why you know this is very important to think about. Um, so uh, in my backyard, I like to. We have a lot of squirrels here in Washington State, and uh, I really like to feed these squirrels. You know, I like to put together, you know, some you know pistachios or pistachios or nuts for them, and then they come in, and it's very enjoyable to see them come in and you know pick up things from the bowl and start eating like a human being. It, it's a very cute thing to observe. Um, but what I noticed the other day, as the weather is getting colder and if there is you know more traffic around the area where I put you know, the nuts for them, uh, I noticed that these squirrels would take uh, the these stachios and then they go dig a hole in the ground and then they put all the food in there. And then later on, uh, as I am observing them from a backyard camera, they, later on they come down the tree and then they pick up that food and take it up to their tree. Uh, as I'm observing this pattern, I actually thought to myself, you know, this this looks a lot like the caching pattern that we use in our software. You know, um, a lot of people, you know, might be very familiar with the caching pattern. You know, there is, you know, you're making an API call and, you know, you're making that call. You don't want to repeat the call. It might be expensive to repeat the call. It might be, you know, the, the service that you're calling might not be very, very stable. Um, so you're caching the response to ensure the availability of this particular resource. Um, I actually put together a little uh, illustration of what these squirrels do and it, it's very fascinating actually. If you look at this design, you'll notice that, you know, I put um, uh, nuts or stashews for uh, these squirrels. They go and pick up these nuts and then they put them underground and then they go back and then they go more and pick up more and put them underground and then they go back and then I noticed that later on when it gets darker they go back and they pick up these nuts and they take them up their trees this is exactly you know play by play is the caching pattern um, what's interesting about this pattern though is that you know um, it's it's very obvious that this region in here there's traffic in here there's human beings which could, could be a danger for these squirrels um, there is uh, other other animals might come in and take that food um, and there's probably probably uh, other animals that might want to hunt these squirrels there's a lot of danger in this area so what they basically go do is that they go and pick up these and then they cache them into a hole in the ground and when they cache them into a hole in the ground once they have already like uh, retrieved all the day all the the data all the all the food they wanted to retrieve they go back later when it's safer and pick up that food and take it up to their trees um the thing about nature in general is that um these architecture patterns really doesn't come uh from the void it doesn't come out of nowhere now not a lot of them are inspired by nature but you know if we give ourselves the opportunity to you know, look around, look at nature, look what animals do, especially ants. Ants are great architects when it comes to consuming resources and organ organizing the, the transition of these resources from uh, one location to the other. Uh, I think a lot of patterns can emerge from looking at nature, looking at these animals. I actually, I like this video, unlike any other video that I make, you know, it doesn't really have any code in it. It doesn't really talk about any particular technology. It's more of a, like, something for you to think about when it comes to um, where do these um, architectural patterns emerge from? Where do they really come from? And uh, where can we find more? What can we learn from? You know, it's not just from animals. You know, you could see there are um, uh, architectural patterns that come out of a complete chaos. You know, it comes out of even, you know, little children playing, just, you know, making some decisions that we as grown ups have been accustomed to just follow what we see seen other grown ups do rather than, you know, um, uh, trying to uh, extract a better pattern to solve particular problems um, again at this um, at this pattern here it's it's really interesting to me that these squirrels will 
uh, use caching patterns that we are using like a lot of people say you know caching will make things faster and that's true you know the, the squirrel comes out of the tree the distance they go from here to here is a lot shorter than the distance they go from here to there uh, but um, there is more to it there's around caching here is that the instability of the um, particular location where their food is retrieved right there's a lot of danger there might be dogs there might be cats there might be other reasons you know uh, around this area where they uh, are trying to retrieve their food so they move it to a, an even safer location an even safer uh, place to retrieve that code so just a just a, a quick video um, I don't know if, if, if a lot of people would actually learn anything from this but it's definitely something I wanted to put out there. It's been, you know, I've, I've observed this for a couple of days and I thought to myself, you know, this is definitely something uh, that might inspire people to look more into nature, especially birds, uh, ants, you know, how all these animals around us, how do they solve particular problems and how can we take these problems and apply them, you know, that's these solutions and apply them to our day-to-day uh, -to -day architecture. Do not just follow you know existing patterns try to extract even newer patterns you know don't just copy paste try to see look around you and, and get inspired by the architectures and the patterns that are in nature so you know if you think i'm crazy that's fine you could leave a comment in the comment section if you think this is uh something interesting to you uh feel free to like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you in a probably more technical video thank you for watching